inspirational gift to all those who meet her. The desert flower that keeps blooming. An eloquent, inspirational, and incredibly impressive lady. To those who have had the privilege of meeting her, she is certainly all that and more. Her message is one of triumph in the face of adversity. Her manner is often emotional and always uplifting. Successfully dealing with challenge is what Joan Brock knows all about. She will teach you the importance of keeping things in perspective and how much of life is small stuff. I truly am an ordinary person to whom some extraordinary things have happened. In an ironic twist, Joan lost her sight while working at a school for the blind in Iowa. Having been educated on how to teach in a sightless world, she had to focus her skills on herself. With all the technology for the sight impaired at her fingertips, the teacher became the student. How could I not take those skills that I've been teaching and take, telling these students, you can do it, there are ways to lead a positive life. You can do this, just learn the skills and you can lead a life. How could I not do that after teaching these students and these children? How could she not? Joan's story of overcoming challenges was highlighted in an article published in the Dallas Morning News. In the interview, she is quoted as saying, If you've suffered a terrible loss, you must force yourself to move on with your life or risk losing huge chunks of your spirit and many of your friends. Believing in Ourselves is a coffee table book published by Ariel Books that features inspirational women in America. Joan is one of the chosen. Joan's own book, More Than Meets the Eye, has been translated into 10 languages. The book began simply as a journal of life experiences to share with her daughter. Zip up your jeans, Lottie. Where's your shoe? Today, the spirit Joan shares has been caught by Hollywood. Her life story, taken from the title of her book, is told in a made-for-TV movie on the Lifetime Television Network. They were there yesterday. I don't see them. You must have worn them. Actress Carrie Lowell plays the part of Joan Brock. <laughs> Those are white. They're pink, Mommy. When I lost my sight, we had to reorganize and redo. It's off, and that bump is 400. Most importantly, I understood that I had a job to do. A little girl. She was three when she became my eyes, and eight when her daddy died. Joan took her own advice and moved on in life. She met and married Jim Brock, and the love affair continues to this day. Joy played volleyball in high school. <laughs> Jim is just so much fun. He's just wonderful. He had never been married and he, at 40. He marries a blind girl <laughs> with a kid. <laughs> He's got a great sense of humor. <laughs> we have so much fun. We really do. But we... <laughs> We go to the games, and he's just, he's a real sports fan, and so he's, he's, he's a neat guy. So we would go to, Joy play, she was a good little volleyball player, and we'd go to the games, and we'd sit off to the side, because he would always sit behind me and give play-by-play. Play. Say beautifully, though. Four hits, did not go over the net, side out, foot hits. By the end of the high school, you know, everybody would be sitting around us, because they wanted to hear it. You know? <laughs> he was really good. But we would go, and I'd be cheering, go, Joy, go, go, go. And he'd go, honey, she's over here. Oh, oh. I have seen the Grand Canyon. I have seen the Lincoln Memorial. I have seen the Northern Lights in Minnesota. Have any of you seen that? Are you nodding at me? <laughs> Don't nod, okay? <laughs> no nodding. From my experience, I know a blind person can lead a positive, productive life. As an author and motivational speaker, I do every day. But I would still give anything if I could see the ocean, a sunset, or my daughter's face. Joan keeps a light heart, and her life is full of adventures. We lead a normal life, and we had a grocery list one day. I make a list on all these m machines that I have and long list we came back put, put the grocery bags on the counter and we were taking you know everything out the bread the elbow macaroni the you know milk the cheese and M&M's for the candy dish so I took the M&M's over to the candy dish and tore off the corner I was pouring them into the 
the dish, but they weren't coming up. So, so I reached up inside the little bag, and, and it was the elbow macaroni. <laughs> and Jim looks over. He says, just leave them. People will come, and they'll go, oh. <laughs> so Jim and I are at a drugstore not long ago. So I'm standing in line. I've got my items. I have the credit card. I'm organized. So I'm standing, and he's with me. He says, I'm going to step over and look. at. I said, that's fine. Go ahead. So I'm listening. And I have some peripheral shadows. I have no central vision, but I have some floating black and white stuff here. And so I thought I could tell. Well, the, the person had moved on. I stepped up to the counter, put the things on the counter. And I thought that I could tell that, you know, when she was going to reach out. Because if you stand there with the credit card out, you just, you look real stupid. So I'm waiting, so I'm waiting. And then I thought I could tell she reached out. So I, re I reached out, and she wasn't there. So we're going like this. I said, I'm sorry, I'm blind. She goes, oh, you mean you know sign language? <laughs> it took you a little long to get that one. And I said, no, 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 that's Helen, I'm Joan. <laughs> so, Jim's back there just laughing. Did he come help? No. No, no, no. Of course not. <laughs> and through her messages of organizing your life, taking what is most important and holding it close, and never giving up, Joan teaches everyone a valuable lesson and touches each one of us with her words. I was a 19-year-old girl, and I saw diamonds in the snow. I will never forget them. Thank you.